In determining sample size for the viral outrage study, we've created a data set, we've run a randomization test, and now we have these 1,000 PCCs that we need to examine to see if 95% of them fell within five percentage points of the mean. So recall from the last video, we computed the mean for these PCCs, it's 46.37. So let's go back to the data edit window. I'm gonna move this over in case I need to remember that number, 46.37. And let's go to the define orderings window and go to the PCCs here. I'm gonna stretch this out a bit so we can see what's going on. Stretch it down as well. Here we go. Finally got it. Okay, so the distribution here is pretty spread out. We can auto-generate and just, uh, let's say, 15 units just to see what it looks like. Kind of a normal-looking distribution here. Uh, centered, sure enough, around somewhere in the 40s there. But let's go back to that auto-generate and set it up with three uh, units of observation, or bend units, we should say. Select OK. And now here we see these different uh, bend uh, ranges of observations. And what we want to do is set up that middle bend as being plus or minus five percentage points of the mean. So recall again, the mean as we can see is 46.37. So five percentage points or that value minus five percentage points gives us uh, 41.37. And that ranges to 51.37. So there's the 10 uh, percentage points. That's covered by the entire range. So plus or, five, plus or minus five percentage points around that mean. I'm copying here just to set up the label. That's well, not necessary though. Now the lower binning here, the lower bin of observations, you see the minimum PCC was 27.76, but we want this been to range from that value to 41.36. And again, we can just, for the sake of aesthetics here, we can copy those labels and put them uh, here. And lastly, we want this bin to range from 51.38 to the max. Not seven, but eight rather. There we go. Okay, now we have three bins set up. Again, the important thing we're looking at here is this middle bin. That's plus or minus five percentage points uh, around the mean. So we'll select update here, and we can see that 597 out of 1,000 cases fell within that range. What we expected or hoped for was 95%. So we're far short of that value here. We really wanted, again, 950 or approximately 950 of the PCCs to fall within this middle bin here, which again is plus or minus five percentage points uh, around that mean. So the sample size here is too low. So we go back through this whole process. We create another data set, let's say with 200 observations, run the randomization test, clean up the distribution of PCCs here so we can look at it and see how many fall within plus or minus five percentage points of the mean. And if it's 95% approximately, then we're done. If not, create another random data set, let's say based on 300, 400 observations, and go through the process again. So as you increase the sample size, this value will increase. So it will eventually get to 95%. And once you get to approximately 95%, then that is the sample size that you use for your study.